What's going on guys? It's Zach back with another video. Uh, today I'm in Indianapolis so I got a little bit of a different background going on. Um, but I just got back from a record shop in Eastern Indy um, at Karma Records. And I'm just going to show you guys the stuff I got there. I uh, got a little bit of everything. So I'm just going to start out with this cassette I got, super cheap, uh, Muddy Waters, I'm Ready, it's a live album. Um, just cool to have this because I like Muddy Waters, it's really good Mississippi uh, blues music. Also got Come On Feel The Noise by uh, Quiet Riot, you got obviously the title track on there, Come On Feel The Noise, and then this is actually one of the only hair metal bands that I will listen to and actually enjoy, so that was just cool to get to because it was super cheap. Uh, and then this, I was really su surprised to find, uh, the Serialistic Pillow by Jefferson Airplane. This was also very cheap. The, the, all of the, uh, the records I got were pretty cheap considering, like, what they are and everything. Uh, so this one, yeah, like I said, uh, Jefferson Airplane, a lot of people just consider this to be the, uh, first psychedelic album, or, like, one of the four fathers of it just like this album in general was like one of the main um, albums that started it up so I was super surprised to find that there and plus for so cheap it was less than ten dollars um, because one time we were out in California on my vacation and my brother found it and it was like 30 bucks and he was like super excited to find it so I got it for five and that's just insane uh, also got a, C a few CDs. I got an original copy of Metallica Ride the Lightning. Just cool to have because it was super cheap and I didn't have it on CD yet. Um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, by the way. Um, this is a good album. Haven't listened to a lot of Red Hot Chili Peppers lately. I want to get into them more because they just have so much music and they're just really good. Um, but you got By The Way on here, uh, Don't Forget Me, Zephyr Song, and Can't Stop, which is probably my favorite uh, RHCP song. So that's just cool to have as well. Um, one I passed up there before I mentioned it in another video is Greta Van Fleet's From The Fires. Now this is a double EP. It's not an actual studio album. Um, there's four songs original on there, which came from Black Smoke Rising, their first EP. And then after this, they released this, which is their double EP with um, four other cover songs. Their Edge of Darkness, A Change Is Gonna Come, Meet on the Ledge, and Talk on the Street. Uh, those are all just pretty much cover songs from older versions of blues. So this is a really good album, and I'm glad to have it. Oh, we also got another record here, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Long After Dark. It's been a while since I've gotten a Tom Petty album, so I was happy to get this one. And I think probably the most underrated um, Tom Petty song is on here, which is You Got Lucky. It's a very good song. Starts off very synthy and just has a really good guitar riff in there. So um, just good lyrics overall, too. Overall, very good song, so... Glad to have that too. Um, also, this one here, Jethro Toe Aqualong. Got it super cheap, under $5. So, this is actually one of the ones I've been wanting. So, I was super happy to get it. It comes in a gatefold. Um, this is probably their most rock based um, album. Many consider it also to be. The first concept album, even though Jethro Tull will tell you it is not a concept album, but you got Aqualung on here, Cross-Eyed Mary, Mother Goose, Up To Me, My God, just really good album. Uh, also got Beatles 65, very good early Beatles record. And then we got Death, this is a uh, just a repressing of it, but... I was happy to get it. Death, uh, Sound of Perseverance. This is actually the only Death album I've listened to all the way through, but 
it's really freaking good and I'm really happy I found it because last time I was there I was looking for it but it was not there uh, this comes in a two disc set the second disc is just like a bunch of demos and stuff that they had and different cuts that they had making this album uh, it was the last death album before Chuck Schuldinger died um, so this is a very good album came out in 98 so yeah, a lot of good songs you got scavenger of human sorrow bite the pain spirit crusher story to tell they're all good um and then there's even a cover of uh painkiller on here so just a really good album overall and then the holy grail we got pet sounds beach boys now this isn't the original 1966 pressing it's a repressing of 1972 but it's still old and it's still really cool because this is most uh, in most people's eyes is like one of the top five, if not top three or two uh, albums of all time. I know it's number two on Rolling Stones list. Um, and then just overall, yeah, the writing on here by Brian Wilson is just crazy. It's uh, yeah, it's really good. You got Wouldn't It Be Nice on here, You Still Believe In Me, That's Not Me, um, Looking For The Day, Let's Go For A While, Sloop John B, God Only Knows. Um, but yeah, when I when I flipped through, I literally, it was like one of the first two albums I found just going through their used vinyl list. Um, and I found this and I, my like jaw dropped and my, like, uh, <laughs> my heart dropped as well. But yeah, this is just really cool to have because it's literally, it's a piece of history and one of the top albums of all time. So I'm very excited to have that. And my freaking girlfriend bought it for me, which she didn't have to do. So that's just awesome of her. So yeah, uh, that's just my small little indie haul I got today. Um, I'll be posting more videos soon.